Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is going to start our series in the C-sharp programming language. So you're probably watching the series because either you know you need to learn C-sharp or because you've heard something cool about it and you just want to figure out what it is or you really just have no idea what you're doing and you just click this video for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> well, this video series is going to take you from ground zero to being an intermediate to advanced level C-sharp developer. So we're gonna cover all of the main fundamentals and then we're gonna go into some application as well as some more advanced topics including object-oriented programming, generic programming, and lots, lots more. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So the C-sharp programming language takes advantage of a bunch of capabilities that are made possible thanks to what's known as the .NET framework. .NET is an example of a framework that allows us to develop. So C Sharp is the programming language and .NET allows us to use this programming language. The two go hand in hand. Now we're going to dive into the basics here in a second, but I wanted to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor Monday.com. Monday.com is your go-to tool for project management and organization. With only one glance of the monday.com dashboard, you can see exactly where a project stands and if there are any blockers preventing you from getting any work done. This can help you keep track of the progress on a project, as well as really helping you make sure you're working on things that actually need to get done. <laughs> so whether you're working on a team on a giant project or you just need something for your own personal productivity, I would recommend monday.com. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. I've used all kinds of project management tools to organize my content and my creation process here on YouTube and I can tell you that monday.com has the clearest interface and the most intuitive experience. Please check them out guys, it would tremendously help me out and I can promise you it's gonna help you out as well. So thank you guys. Now let's dive back into C Sharp and .NET. So what the crap is .NET? <laughs> well essentially when you write C Sharp code, you need a way to execute that on the computer and the .NET framework makes this happen. So with the .NET framework, you can build websites, you can build mobile applications, and not only mobile applications, but native applications, meaning it's not like an embedded website or whatever, it's an actual iOS, Android application. So where do we get started? Oh, I don't know, maybe this Get Started link. This is going to give you instructions on how to get started. So first thing, you need to download .NET SDK. So you can get it there or on the homepage, you can just click download. Okay, so if you're on Mac, which I am, you're only going to get one option here. On the other hand, if you're on Windows, you're going to get two options. The version we're going to be using is the .NET Core, which is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So go ahead and get the .NET Core version. That's the most up-to-date version. It's the most lightweight. It's the most sexy. Definitely what you want to be using. This also shows one of the other benefits of using a language like C Sharp. First off, you can program it on all three platforms using the .NET Core framework. And certain applications you can deploy to all three of these platforms. So for example, if you build a website with .NET Core, you can host that in Mac, Linux, and Windows. A lot of people when they hear C Sharp, they think, oh, this is a Windows-based programming language, that has largely changed and continues to do more so every day. Now before we go downloading .NET, I wanted to show you guys one more thing, and that is where we are going to be coding our code. You can get that at visualstudio.com. This is an IDE, the application you use to develop in. It looks a little something like that. The other version is Visual Studio Code, which is a little bit more lightweight. This is just a code editor. So if you want a lot of tooling and capabilities and features, go with Visual Studio. If you want something more lightweight and more like Sublime or text edit or something, get Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna go with Visual Studio for now, and when you open it, it's going to look something like this. When you go through the download process, it should give you everything you need to get started, such as the .NET framework. So go download Visual Studio, make sure you can open it here, and we'll start by clicking New Project, and that's where we're going to take off in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am super pumped for the series. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. C Sharp is kind of the language I think in. <laughs> this is the one that's most comfortable to me. I think it's very intuitive and I think you guys will like it once you get your hands on it. So stick with the series please guys and also check out the playlist. I'll also leave links in the description for you if you want some more resources. Thank you guys, this is Caleb and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>